All right, guys, we're gonna do something different today. I'm at Alvarado Station, Virginia Creeper Trail. We got electric bikes. I'm gonna take you on a tour of basically Alvarado Stations, a little outside of Abington, Virginia. We're gonna go past Damascus, try to get our go as far as we can, and I'll show you how it is on a bike trail. And we do have these new electric e-bikes, so it kind of helps us out tremendously. You ready, Carl? I'm ready. It's a big balls cow. I mean, well, he's huge. A big balls cow. What if your balls were that big? I hope not, because then they'd just hit everything. You are just baby. You, you're young calves. So right, something's isn't it tonight. So a little bit about the Creeper Trail. It's 33.7 miles. It goes to Abington to White Top, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's mainly soft gravel. It's got a few harsh rocks on it, but for the most part, it's pretty easy. I wouldn't take a road bike on it at all. There's uh, bike rentals. There's food along the way to their chicken restaurant. There's bike rental places. I've already, we've already biked like how many miles? I don't even know. Six. Six miles. Is it only six miles? Okay, we gotta haul ass, so we'll continue this adventure. There is a little bit of an asphalt path though right here. It's not all gravel because there's asphalt right here, even though it's a little bit. What I was saying is you probably need at least a gravel bike or a mountain bike to get through these trails. There's some really, really uh, hard rocks this way. It's a pretty good trail. Plus it's super long. We only did the Alvarado. We're trying to make it to White Top. We're at mile marker, it looks like 21. I think it's 33, so we still got quite a few areas to go. Once you get past Damascus, which is a very tiny city, we usually have more harder rock, a little just harder to ride in in most places like that. Damascus is a little small town. It's got a bike shop, well, a few of them, and some restaurants, a little places to see. You can stop there, there's a chicken place. You can actually get a ride all the way up to White Top and come back down. That's actually the smarter plan if you don't have e-bikes. This is not a smart plan to go up the hill. 
whatsoever like we're trying to do. And I'm sweating balls. The good thing I put, I put bug spray on, put bug spray on. Do not try to do this without like an e-bike because you will die. It ain't a fun time. mile marker 38 this incline's way up here um i have no cell phone service whatsoever this bridge looks cool i'm sitting on this bench i don't know if we're gonna make it all the way up here guys it's been like a little over two hours and that's with the e-box so um another lesson is take the shuttle and then go down then hope for the best it's more scenic that way if you want some exercise and some good amount of pace go up this hill you will die trust me it's not fun. Actually, it's a lot of fun, but you will be very sweaty. And then I'll show you a bunch of B-roll, put some music on top of it, let you see all the footage, because a lot of people want to see that. This is one steady ass incline. I mean, look at it. But I have assistance. <laughs> we made it to White Top. I mean, it looks nice out here. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it took us about 10 years to get up here. There is a magical surprise and Santa Claus would love this up here because there's literally a Christmas tree farm over there. I mean, I got some drone footage, right? We made it to White Top. We finally made it. I mean, I didn't think we'd make it. We biked like, what, 20, Five. 25 miles or so. You wanna take a picture with the white top sign in behind us? Once again, do not whatsoever try to bike up this without any type of electric bike. You will die. Don't blame me. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me out. I'm sure someone will watch this. I need some food. I'm gonna eat this tuna sandwich though and see how it goes. The bread's kinda dry. Oh,